So what's up Zen Miner? So today we're gonna update the process of how to install Python and start mining some Zen blocks. So Jack updated the script um, a couple of days ago. So I kind of reworked some stuff and try to get it simpler so a lot of people can like just copy and paste pretty much. So I have here pretty much all the prerequisites. <laughs> pre <laughs> The prerequisites that we're going to be needing to get this task on the way. So the first one we're going to need is a um, Python, which I just downloaded. Uh, I leave a link. I'm going to leave links for everything pretty much in the description of the video, so you guys don't have to like jump through too many hoops to start mining. <clears throat> so the first thing we want to do is install Python so let's go do that so I'm on a VM if you're wondering why it's running so slow that's that's the only reason why I'm doing this um, tutorial on a VM So we're just going to wait for um, Python to install. So we want to add the path. Make sure you, you add that and click customizations, check everything else, click next. Now I would suggest you just install it for all users and the pre-compile um, libs these two you don't really need um, this one later well though these two you don't really need that should be it and just install and yes I'm on win or this VM is on Windows 11 so after it finished installs you're going to want to open up a command I don't think you need to run it as an administrator but I yeah I just prefer so we're going to wait until it's finished install Should have beefed this VM up a little bit more, but it should suffice. So we need we also need to go get so while that's downloading, we also need to go get the mining script because he adds some changes to the script so you just click the link in the description or click the link from the website and come over here and just click download download the raw file and it and the raw file got downloaded So we're still waiting for it to finish up install. So while that's installing, <clears throat> Jack released a mobile miner. So I was going to do a tutorial about how to um, mine on your cell phone, but since he integrated it into the website, you don't actually need to mobile mine. You just copy and paste this address into the website, connect your wallet, and start mining. 
like well shoot you don't even need well i guess if you want to find the blocks you connect your wallet but if you just want to donate to the default um, you can mine away just like i am right now and the hash rate is not that much i mean it is because it's being emulated and i think i'm on a, a vm so we'll just stop it i just wanted to give you guys a demonstration so boom you can mobile mine if you have um a few android tablets old cell phones you can put them to work so i think it's finished install nope it's not <clears throat> it's installing the pre-compiled standard libraries so after that Hopefully it shouldn't take that much longer. And then everything else should go by relatively quickly. Hopefully without no um, hard troubleshootings or figuring out. I'm hoping to just, as soon as it's finished, <clears throat> install this, install this, install this, and maybe install one more um, module it's gonna ask, and then just run the script and it should just work but we will we will see once pythons has finished install which it should be finishing up just now So yes, you want to disable um, the limitations for path files. And then click close. So now it's finished. We start installing. should yeah matter but okay it did it was I had <laughs> I had CMD opened up before um, Python finished install so that CMD didn't get the the privilege needed I guess because that's the only reason why I could I, I can see it why the command wouldn't have run right after um, we installed Python so if you guys come up across similar little um, bugs or issues you're gonna see me work through a lot of the the little lower end issues and yes I could type all of these in but copy and paste for the win Okay, so now we just do request. <clears throat> ooh, ooh, ooh. I think I forgot the S. Yes. Okay, so now. Now I'm pretty sure there's gonna be two more like scripts I need to or modules. That's what they're called, modules. But we'll see. So we're just gonna open it up with. Actually, we're gonna open it up with um. What? So Python should have installed the Python IDE, but I don't see it. See, 
right here. So we're going to open the script up in that. Just so that it can tell us. I mean, don't you could have done this the same way with um, the commands in DOS or over here, but I just like to do it this way. So it should ask us for this, but let's go and just run it. Okay, see, yes, this is the one that I was, that's the module it's asking us for. So that's the one we're gonna go install. Paste, enter. Module install. Now, if it doesn't work the first time, you might have to close out out of this window and then rerun it. That's it. Oh, wrong place. And ta-da, that's it guys. It's running, as you can see. I keep all the steps as simple and as clean as possible. And that's pretty much all it took. So like and subscribe and follow for more. I showed you guys how to mine on the web. I showed you guys how to mine and compile on and use um, Python to complete your goals. And let's get mining some Zen blocks, guys. Holla at your boy. I'm trying to exit. Crap. Okay. I think I have to stop it because it's. Yeah. It's not letting me exit the VM. But so I wanted to show another thing. So actually, you don't need to run it in the IDE editor. You could just run it natively, like I'm about to do. What? And just like that. So you can't run, actually you can. You could just run multiple of the same scripts over and over and over. So now, this is the actual ideal way to just to run it. So you don't have to run it in the ID editor. You could just run it this way. And actually you get more hash. So that's about it. That's the last thing I wanted to add in at the end. And let me close out so I can exit out the VM. All right, guys, I'm out.